Attempted coup aside, Donald Trump's been keeping a pretty low profile since the election, with events few and far between on his public schedule, and spending almost every weekend at one of his golf clubs. Meanwhile, he's been tweeting more than 400 false claims about the election, according to a New York Times count, not to mention that unhinged Facebook rant we talked about earlier, while saying almost nothing about the plague afflicting the American people. But while the president's been neglecting his day job, his administration and executive agencies decidedly have not. Drafting more than 140 regulatory changes they hope to finalize before Trump has to leave office voluntarily or via jaws of life. The final sprint is commonly referred to as the president's midnight agenda. And as the name suggests, it's done mostly in darkness. Thankfully, ProPublica is shining a light on some of the most controversial and consequential of these actions. Here's just a brief sampling of what the administration has advanced so far. They've broadened the methods by which federal death row inmates can be executed, bringing back firing squads and electrocution as options. They've lowered wages for immigrant farm workers, which will go into effect in a few weeks as the pandemic reaches its worst point and as we depend on those COVID and dangerous workers even more. They also exempted the Forest Service from environmental reviews, meaning more trees can be cut down and roads constructed without anyone studying the environmental harms. And as if those aren't bad enough, here are a few more items they're hoping to push through soon. They want to narrow food stamp eligibility, dropping around 3 million people from the program, again during a pandemic. They're looking to radically narrow the grounds on which immigrants can seek asylum and make it harder for immigrants who've been deported to reopen their cases. They want to limit which scientific research the EPA can use when drafting policy, which ProPublica says, quote, could exclude many epidemiology and public health studies. They're also trying to exclude transgender people from federally subsidized homeless shelters, and they want to relax school lunch nutrition guidelines for what feels like the hundredth time, because I guess having almost 20 percent of our kids obese is not just quite enough. In the interest of time, I'll stop there. Experts say it's unlikely every proposal will make it into the Federal Register, but ProPublica estimates as many as three dozen rules could be finalized before January 20th. Luckily, Joe Biden does have a few options to reverse them, a few fairly straightforward, some trickier and more time-consuming, and some that would need congressional approval, which appears to depend on voters in Georgia. But that's not the point of tonight's story. What is, is that while Trump's effort to do four more years ended on November 3rd, his efforts to make this a less humane, less compassionate, less safe, less welcoming country continue unabated.